obviously I reported the other day about this alleged um, Kim and Kanye breakup. It doesn't really matter. It's none of our business. If they are going through a breakup, you know, especially when you keep bear in mind how big their family is, um, how much business has to be done associated with their brand name the last thing they need is public scrutiny and their attention being brought upon you know such a troubling moment that they're going through especially considering the amount of backlash they get in general from ever popping their head out of the parapet right it's just a you know it's a bit of a hard time for them going through in general so having everyone's eyes upon them probably isn't helping situation to make matters worse some flipping donor of a girl decided to invent this rumor that supposedly jeffree star was um hooking up with kanye and that is what basically led to the divorce which you know at the time sounded absolutely batshit crazy but because it's celebrities and because it's covid nothing sounds insane anymore so people kind of ran with the story i reported on it a little bit obviously i didn't believe it just because it just sounds too insane and now it's being basically alleged or it's being brought or it's been, no it's been, not being alleged the girl that actually flipping started the rumor herself basically came out and said oh it was all a lie i faked the entire thing for clout so i could get attention back on myself and then having dug a bit deeper into the topic the girl in mind who actually started the flip and rumor in the first place is that girl that got famous or went viral in the beginning of the pandemic for licking a toilet seat on an airplane you remember that story do you remember that do you remember that that's the girl so i should have paid more attention to the flipping stuff so that was the girl flipping started the rumor and now she's coming out and basically saying nah it's not true i faked the entire thing one absolute piece of crap so this is the article here from death noodle so the following desperate for clap goblins uh, part one Ava Louise admits she had completely fabricated the Kanye West and Jeffree Star rumors after she was exposed by a friend. Ava later claimed she made 15,000 free days since the scandal broke. Like, where did they make these women? Like, are these the same sort of young ladies who go, to, do they go to the same school as that other young lady, that Helena girl that fobbed in her parents because they vote for Trump? Is that from the same, is that, are those kind of kids brought up around the same amount of people? Is that media? Is that culture itself? What? makes a young lady decide to do that to sit at home record a tiktok rec you know putting out uh false stories about celebrities in an effort to what ruin their marriage and destroy their family like who raises these people and here's her talking about it i thought was my friend thought they could expose me did they know so she's complaining right so she's kind of get, trying to get ahead of the story that her friend is basically going to expose the fact that she made up the rumor completely and she's acting like she's the victim in this. Jesus Christ. Oh, I was obviously going to expose myself because what I did was just too legendary, you know? Really not even getting sued. I made this entire scandal up. There is literally not one bit of truth to Jesus anything I have Christ. said. I just tricked the entire world into talking about me again because I was on a lot of Adderall and bored. And that's on being Pun. we all had fun though didn't we no we didn't have fun you piece of shit and again it's social started too because you think this is going to be enough to kind of get you back into the um to get you back into everybody's good graces or something or to basically long to base i don't know no, no, yeah to extend your short-lived run as some sort of um public figure but if anything we've learned so far you if you wear people's um, attention down enough and you put out enough sh bullshit out there people are just going to be over you whatever you have to say and you're going to have to get more outlandish in your efforts and the more outlandish you get in your efforts the more detrimental it is to your overall relevancy so she's in a lose lose game here because now that we know that she's a complete liar right now that we know that she's uh an insane person we're never going to take anything she says again and if you're ever, anything any, we're never going to take anything she says again seriously even though we shouldn't in the first place because who the fuck is this girl she sits there filming herself with half of her face rolling her eyes with her lips that look like she's been stung by a bumblebee we shouldn't be listening to anything she says in the beginning but now we're definitely not going to listen to it going forward because we know you're a liar god almighty man and another video here where she came she made all that money which again I am very dubious about. She lied about the rumor. She's probably lying about the money she made as well. Let's go. She says here. Hearing how about... much money. Yeah. Hearing how much money I made off of like this whole Jeffrey Kanye whatever. Kanye whatever stuff I did. That's the thing you have to get used to. Listen to Red Scare. It's just that vocal fry. Once you get past the vocal fry, obviously the Red Scare girls are far more accomplished and interesting people to listen to than this absolute donut. But just to get past that vocal fry, and once you get past it, it's fine. Fifteen thousand dollars in the past three days. Yeah, sure. 
fifteen thousand dollars in three days. And imagine how far that fifteen thousand dollars is gonna go get her in terms of um covering her legal fees when she eventually gets sued. That's gonna be glorious to see how um much her life gets destroyed off the back of this stupid rumor that got her what five minutes of social media attention so so short-sighted so short-sighted and then on the other side of the track we have mr jeffrey star who bloody uh poured gasoline on the rumors put out pictures of himself and then had captions of like get ready for sunday service liking certain tweets that people were sharing and just generally being messy now he has a bit of an excuse because he's had a long-standing feud with the kardashians from what i read online done a bit of research he's always had a bit of a being their bonnet with them i think it stems from the kylie jenner cosmetic stuff i don't know what's happening there it's loads of girl stuff that i'm not really involved in but he has some sort of you know there's some reasoning behind that but still now he's coming out i'm assuming because there's been pressure behind the scenes and he essentially is walking back the rumor and explain you know and explaining it away as being stupid but at the time he was also feeding into himself pieces of shit these people man online like horrible horrible people in it but they, that's the thing about social media I've, I've, i realized the bigger the public figure the more um horrendous of a human they are but people seem to be captivated with it is it is it like a long-running tv is, is it is it like a long-running um car crash you're watching unfold day in day out because i don't really understand how these people can maintain or keep an audience for that long of a time when you know that they've demonstrated various times across their career that they're just garbage humans i don't know how that's possible i really don't but anyway it's a death noodle it says breaking news that will most definitely change your life obviously being sarcastic says jeffrey star debunks rumors that he and kanye are dating jeffrey says tiktoker who made up the rumor is lying jeffrey claims he has never hung out with kanye kim and or kanye also said rumors are not true so here it is why is jeffrey lynn Number three trending. I woke up out of bed, Chris, and I'm like, huh? And the headline reads, Jesus Christ. Kanye West might be sleeping with Jeffree Star. <laughs> I can't. I can't. And then I'm like, how do we even get to this moment? Like, how, how would that even be made up? Because we both live in, in the same Wyoming. state, right? Whatever. So I guess some girl. What do you mean, how? Weren't you feeding into the rumors by liking pictures and posting up pictures of yourself with flipping um, suggestive captions? Like, what is wrong with these people, man? They're driving me fucking insane. I made up a whole lie on TikTok and it went viral um, where she insinuates Kanye and Kim are getting divorced because a big male beauty influencer uh, is sleeping with him. Oh, she wanted views. <laughs> So I just woke up just trying to live my life and I'm like, huh, this is so weird. And it's such a it's such an epically timed rumor for him too. I wonder if all this is like a psyop and a um covert attempt to basically divert attention away from the numerous accounts of people allegedly being paid off um by Jeffree Star for some very dubious and very serious allegations, which you can Google yourself. I wonder, because it's not it must not be a coincidence that whenever he gets into some sort of crazy scandal that he never replies about, right? He never comes out and, and kind of dismisses those statements. Um, he kind of just sits quiet um, in his uncancelable mansions across the United States and just keeps it moving. But Jesus Christ, he's such a horrible human. But I guess because he's so interesting as a person, right? From the business, from the look, from the drama, from everything else that goes around and people just can't keep their eyes off him, innit? That's just a part of it. But I don't know, man, like, it's just it's just odd i don't really get it i really trying to understand like what is it about these people who are demonstrably horrendous people that people seem to be interested in and don't want to take their eyes off of what is it about it what is it what is it what is it i have people like texting me all these news people like what do you have to say to them about this and i'm like about what what i'm single i'm not sleeping with anyone like this is so weird so um <laughs> jeffrey star after leaving kim's house look at this Shit, y'all, this is so stupid. Uh, what? Since when did you learn all those moves? Uh, I mean, that was me escaping from Louis Vuitton, but that, that wasn't. <laughs> this is so weird. So uh, it's 2021, it's January 6th, and allegedly uh, I'm sleeping with Kanye. Let me just say this one time for any news outlet, uh, I like very tall men. Me and Kanye uh, have never hung out and this whole thing is really funny. So I guess if this is a start to my new year, happy new year. Garbage humans circulating garbage rumors about garbage things for garbage people. That is how our 2021 is starting.